So I want to do a short video on this fry ad I just picked up. Um, basically in my last video I was going over some of the features on this Marshall Studio Vintage Plexi. Um, now what I'm able to do is pretty cool. I'm actually, I'll play this without the fry ad. Right now I've got I've got a, you know, the, the second channel boosted a little bit. I probably what I was before, right around six there, and right about three on the uh, first channel, treble channel. And it's a beefy on five watts. It's really powerful. So I can kick this fry head on, and I can use this as an attenuator if I want to. So basically, it has a 50 amp reamp section in this, as well as attenuation, and as well as uh, impulse response um, line out that I can put right into my recording interface, which is awesome. And the effects loop on this is just fantastic. Uh, the one problem I was having is when I'm overdriving the power tubes on the Marshall, I'm losing a lot of the feeling of my effects loop. I like my delay to sit in the background. I don't like it to be your first note just jumping right out at you. It just, it gets confusing when you're soloing and I like the way it feels better through a proper loop that isn't being driven uh, through power saturation. So I've got this on low sensitivity right now. I'm gonna turn the presence, it's got a presence and a, um, a depth control out here to give you a little bit more bottom end, a little bit more uh, top end on it. I'm gonna set the, uh, it's got an actual EQ here, bolt the flat. And I'm actually using the input level on low here. Um, because it is a 50 watt power section. So I'm gonna use this to get my volume on the low input section. The cool thing is, even though I'm running a little attenuation, I'm actually kind of starting to feed into those 606 on the clean, clean side of this reamp inside this Bryant power station. And there's no tonal difference. It sounds exactly the same to me as when I turn this on standby or bypass. Just volume difference, which is great. So what I'm doing now with the loop, I've got my time-based effects, my reverb, my delay, and actually an EP boost as well that I'm using for a lead boost for solos, which is what I'm really excited about. Having a single channel amp playing in any band that has more than one guitar player, your solos tend to disappear because you don't have the little bump in volume to go over the second guy playing with you. So on this I've got a phaser, uh, I've got a Monterey vibe, which is a chorus and or a roto vibe, a tube screamer, a BE overdrive deluxe, as well as my other time base. And I'm not gonna use any of these uh, in the front end of the amp yet. To show you what the reverb sounds like through here. Full. Kick on the delay. Nice repeats. Very smooth. Not harsh, not brittle. Thank <laughs> you. 
single cabinet. I could use a 16 ohm output on the amp and run a separate 4 ohm to a cabinet. Now I'm not bound by what the cabinet and what the amp are. Uh, this will actually, uh, there's switches in the back where you can adjust what your input to what your output is. It's fantastic. <laughs> Now with no pedals, this is just straight amp. I'll put it on bypass so you can hear the amp. Check them out. Riot Power Station. Awesome.